Well, hello guys, are you ready for some more Femon gobbledygook? So here's a really tough Femon. Gee, you wouldn't want to cross her, I can tell you. This Femon is a bare-knuckle fighter. As you can see, she's far tougher than any man. And she trains punching concrete slabs. But the guys still say she's soft. Well, she is soft. Soft in the head. If you punch a concrete slab, you're going to break your knuckles. Or your hand. At the very least, you'll take the skin off your knuckles. Now, of course, you could put loads and loads of gloves on to protect your hand and then punch the slab. You might break it, but what's the point? That doesn't improve your punch power. And you can still break your wrist. You see, concrete slabs don't give like somebody's face. So once again, Femons get into a man's sport and have to pretend they're far tougher and stronger than men in it. You see, generally speaking, femons don't have the upper body strength that's required to be a good fighter. She may do very well with other femons, but not with a man. And once again, with femons, it's all about the hype. But here she is, training with a concrete slab. <laughs> well, no. No, I actually put that in there. Uh, you know, just for a bit of comic relief. But men have been bare-knuckle fighting for, well, hundreds of years. But Femon does it maybe once, and all of a sudden it's got to be news, and it's, it's fantastic. I get really tired of the way they hype these Femons up like this. Because the proof isn't in the pudding, is it? The media keeps on pushing how Femons are just like Swiss Army knives. <laughs> and they're not. I'll put a link to the story down below if you can be bothered to actually read it. To be frank, I didn't. Anyway, let me know what you think there, guys. As usual, you take it easy now.